dive into the canvas of digital creativity where code meets artistry. Today, we're bending the boundaries of 3JS to craft mesmerizing scenes with improved noise. Get ready to realize the unseen as it flows through space and time. Today, we're going to build a noise visualization that looks like this. Let's get started. Here's our template, and here's our geometry in the scene This to start out with. Let's go ahead and wrap this. Get box. Yeah, and then we'll return the box, which I'm calling cube right now. Just say const cube equals get box return cube scene dot add cube so nothing should change i've just wrapped this that's all i can pull this out because it's going to be the same for everyone although it'd be fun to modify it for each one wouldn't it yeah it would let's t pull this functionality out and put it in the update method cube dot user data dot update cube dot user data dot update so that cleans it up doesn't it now our animate method just calls this update function and we're good to go we've done it we've created our reusable box let's create the group to contain all of that stuff i'm going to call it a const box group equals a new group and its update method just loops over all of its children and calls their update method and now scene dot add box i can change this call in my animate method um is there an error no no error why aren't you animating then? Box group dot user data dot update equals loop over each guy and update it. Oh, I need to add it here. There. So if I were to copy this, create another cube and now there's two there, you can't really see them separately though. Const rate equals math dot math dot random. Yeah, and then plus equals rate. Now they'll be they'll have divergent rates. I kinda like the look of that. Okay. I'm going to try to stay focused because I'm not going to go exploring where we can go, <laughs> where we can take this. Um, create all of the boxes. Here's how I want to do that. I'm going to say const cube, 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 cube size. How about that? This is not a great title, but we'll start with it. And then we'll say const num cubes. Why are we using cubes now? Box cube size num boxes equals math dot pow box cube size and three and then four let i to equal zero i is less than num boxes let box equal get box and pass in i i'm going to need i for the positioning and then box group dot add box let's cr scale this down oh i broke it i broke it good let's get rid of these guys those were just to get us started it's still broken can't access geo before instantiation makes sense i'm saying let's put it up here i'm gonna i'm just gonna bundle it because what the hell well that's interesting isn't it and weird too 
Do we like it? I don't know, it's kind of creepy. Ah! Um, instead of that, let's position the box. Let's chill that out for a second. What I'm gonna want actually is the scale. Um, cube dot scale dot set scalar. And let's say T times 0 0.1. What the heck is T? Let's see, rate times. T is a value we're passing in here, which gets passed in here, which gets passed in here, which I'm passing in from the animate method. T gets an initial value of zero, and I pass it in to the box group. Now the scale is scaling. <laughs> wow. Um, that scalar rate times t. I see. Yeah, that's not going to work. Size. Let's just say const. Oh, wait. Let size equal at least 1. Actually, at least 0 0.1 plus math.sin or cosine, whatever, times rate times 0 0.5. So somewhere between <laughs> uh, I don't like that 0 0.1 times right so now it's slower but we want it to be bigger too I don't know this is definitely not very interesting That's kind of cool, though. I kind of like that. Okay. I hope I'm not giving anybody um, seizures from all this activity. Um, can we just pause that for a second while I sort this out? I want to position the box. It's going to take in this index. And I'm going to use that index after I created it to position it. And instead of gap, I'm going to call this mesh scale. No, I'm not. I'm going to call it gap because that makes more sense. Like so. And we'll say const x equals doesn't work. Because I didn't define start pause. Allow me to just grab it from here. Start pause right above the get boxes method. Now start pause. Oh, I can't use n. It has to be index. <coughs> Excuse me. Index. And index. Does that work? Nope. Grid size. Instead of grid size, I need it to be box cube size. DD and DD. D. That's better, but what are you saying now? Start pause before initialization. Well, isn't that annoying? I need to move this up here. Yeah. So. So that works. And now I can turn the scaling back on like so. That's weird looking. I like it. What if I change the color of the boxes to be kind of an uh, off blue? Meh. What do you think? I think it needs work. But it's, it's going in the right direction. To summarize, we've created a reusable cube function. I'm calling it getBox. We've created a box group. 
and we use that group to control all the boxes by having a single update method that calls all its kids. Um, and I've got them animating in a bizarre way. Oh, shoot. I broke it. How did I break it? Invalid or unexpected token. Yeah, look at that. I don't know, kind of weird and effervescent. I think it's time to pull in the noise. So we're gonna import improved noise from the, the extras, or I think it's called examples inside the 3JS library. And then I'm going to instantiate it here right above all everything, const noise equals improve noise. And now I'm going to use it in the update method. Um, this is just a, a, this is not what I want to use anymore. I'm going to use it here. Noise dot noise. I'm going to pass in x comma y comma z and then let's see const size equals noise dot noise and that's going to be a, give us a static noise um what do we think of this i think we need to animate it to animate it we're going to add t or, or Yeah, I'm just going to add T to each of these and see what happens. Okay, it's insane. Let's let's scale down T times times equals zero point zero one. Mm. So that's not making much of a difference. Oh, that makes a lot of difference. It's still kind of effervescent. Um, how is that different than the way I implemented it here? I'm scaling it down here. I like this a lot too. Using a sign function instead, instead of just, oh boy. I think I need to scale down that T times 0 0.001. Now it just kind of oscillates back and forth. Not exactly what I wanted though. It's going too fast. 0 0.2 times, let's scale it down a little bit more. Okay, that's better. It might be time to use a basic material instead of a standard t material, like so. And I think it also might be time to change the color of each of these materials. We have the noise, and I'm passing in the position and animating it. Um, let's call this NZ. I think that's gonna be more clear. Say cube dot material, thank you, dot set HSL. I'm gonna pull this out so it's more clear. That's the hue. Const hue is equal to that value. Let's see. Okay, there you go. Now we're changing the material hue based on that noise value. I feel like we need to scale that down. That's the problem. Um, zero, I'm gonna call this scale, noise end scale. Let's call it end scale. 
this is going to create different, m more clear patterns in the, in the noise. What the hell does that mean? Let's define n scale const n scale at 0 0.2. Look, now you can see these like groupings. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is, it's really nice. I'm going to push it a little bit further away from the greens. I don't want to see any greens at all. Yeah. So. So I love that. Or really pull it into the greens. Oh, two, five, maybe. Yeah, that's not giving me exactly what I want. I probably shouldn't do this, but um, lightness. So let's, let's do the lightness as well. See what happens. Uh, one, I'm going to invert the light lightness so that the values that are dark are now light and vice versa. 1.0 minus. Thank you. Uh, how about 0 0.5 minus? That's pretty good. Change the color of the background gradient to a green color. Um, more of a green color, actually. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What I encourage you to do is to play around with this, experiment with different settings. You can download the code from GitHub, and um, it's, it's really easy to get started. You don't need to install anything. If you're curious on how to run this locally, check out my video on how to do that. Um, but play with the different colors by shifting the hue around. Um, try different timings. You can add mouse interaction. I think that would be really interesting. Or other interaction, key interaction or whatever. And try different materials, like a mesh physical material with a refracting, uh, with refracting properties might look really cool. Yeah. Leave a comment below um, with any questions or ideas you have for videos you'd like to see. Um, if you like these videos and you want to see more of them, consider supporting me over on Patreon. Uh, it takes a lot of work to make these videos, but I really love doing it. So any, any help is appreciated. And yeah, thanks for coming by. I'll see you next time.